After many years of the same handful of companies making the processors in our computers and phones, we are finally seeing some major changes in rapid succession. Amazon rolled out servers based on their own Graviton processors. Apple, of course, announced their groundbreaking Apple Silicon for Macs and iDevices, designed entirely in-house. And now Google has entered the fray with its new Tensor processors. And although it looks like they will be manufactured by Samsung, Google actually had a major role in designing the chip. They had their fingers in there. But unlike Google's Tensor processing unit, which is an AI-focused card designed for servers, Tensor is a mobile-focused system on a chip or a SOC, meaning it combines the CPU and other computing elements such as RAM, modem, and audio processing together for better efficiency. Chips like these are the mainstays in modern smartphones, but only a few companies design their own. Apple with their A-series is one example, while the majority of Android-powered gadgets use off-the-shelf socks from MediaTek or Qualcomm, with Samsung's in-house Exynos chips being a notable exception. Even Google's own Pixel lineup has used Qualcomm chips until now. But the end is near, and going forward, they will be featuring Tensor chips. But what is a Tensor chip, and why exactly is Google moving chip design in-house when it might be easier just to outsource it? Well, when there is an app for that, was a popular catchphrase 10 years ago? Oh no, I don't think most of people using it anticipated how much we would come to expect from our phones. Everything from DSLR look-alike photos to high-fidelity gaming to instant air power translation. And as the software that enables these features becomes more and more complex, some of the familiar hardware inside our phones hasn't kept up so. Instead of using more general-purpose processors from an outside company, Google developed Tensor so the hardware in its Pixel devices would be a perfect fit for Android in their words, which of course Google also dev But before we tell you about Tensor, we would like to thank our editors Ivan Thomas of Class 8 and Mr. Nathan SC, and also to Steve, which is myself, for coming up with the idea of this video series. Now, although we don't have tons of Tensor specifications to throw you at you right now, it's pretty clear that much of Tensor Silicon is going to be dedicated towards image processing, which isn't too surprising considering the fact that Pixel lineup has long featured strong camera performance as a selling point, and because modern phones rely heavily on AI to make its images look good. Especially important because the sensor is inside mobile cameras aren't all that large. Of Google's primary focuses for Tensor is for it to deliver speedy performances with AI-intensive tasks such as improving grainy or blurry nighttime photos. The enhanced AI capabilities of Tensor can take images from multiple lenses on Pixel and run several different AI algorithms at once to improve picture quality and sharpness even in tough situations, including fast motion or when there is so much light the picture is in danger of being blown out. The emphasis on AI should also help with voice input. This means your phone should be able to better tell the difference between which word is a command versus which word is a part of your message, provide better auto-generated captions if you're watching a video in a foreign language, and deliver better experience with apps that use any form of AI, such as those that detect objects. This also means that smartphones with a Tensor chip won't have to rely as much on cloud AI processing, freeing up bandwidth, and possibly allowing some apps to function without needing a strong connection to the cloud, because you don't need Google to see everything you're doing. But how long will you need to wait to get your hands on it. Well, Google doesn't want to just sit on this thing forever, especially as it's already behind Apple in terms of vertically integrating socks into its own phones. And the Pixel 6, which will be the first device to feature the Tensor chip, should be available this fall of 2021. Google has left open the possibility that it will show up in other devices at some point. But let's see how well their Tensor-based phones take off first. If they do well, maybe we will see Google stores popping up at malls where everything is painted white. And that brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to see more videos of the series coming up. And see you in the next one. Till then, peace out.